And this is our skyline as we see it mm -hmm. or we don't see it. Mm -hmm. it, it it's a bit, Can you see it's, it? It's dark. It's darker yeah, now. Yeah, it's overcast. At this time of the day, usually we would see more of the sun. And more of the buildings mm -hmm. uh, on the horizon, but not, not too many today. Mm -hmm. Smoke is extra thick today. Yeah. Extra thick sounds like soup. <laughs> and good morning, I'm Jing Muxesa. And I'm Amelyn Veloso. And Pat is in the other studio, mm -hmm. in the Solar Weather Center. And she's going to join us in a bit. You're watching Solar Daybreak on the Solar News Channel. It's the end of the month, Thursday, January 31, 2013. In the quest for an ultimate productive day like today, it's important to think about how you get started in the morning. As easy as it is to skimp on your routine, rush breakfast, and then try to dive right into work, that's not usually the best way to go. Without starting your morning properly, you may never hit your full efficiency, or worse, you could doom the rest of your day to failure, even if you run. To us who go to work in the morning, it's important to get a good night's sleep. Eat your breakfast and prepare yourself for the rest of the day. The goal is to remove yourself from distractions and prepare to focus on doing work. Whether you're working at home or in an office, it helps to create a routine that clearly signifies this change. Once you have those mental blinders in place, you can step away from all things not related to work and get down to business. And as we start this, beautiful, awesome, and productive day. Here's a quote from William Arthur Ward, author of Fountains of Faith. He said, the more generous we are, the more joyous we become. The more cooperative we are, the more valuable we become. The more enthusiastic we are, the more productive we become. The more serving we are, the more prosperous we become. Our first photo is from Yari Aniko. This is a shot of daybreak in Katarungan Village in Muntinlupa taken last Saturday. And Yari is fortunate to capture this photo while doing her Saturday morning walk at the village. The photo was taken using an iPhone. Also from Yari Aniko is a photo of a rising sun while she was on her way to her hometown in Naikavite. Yari is an account executive of a publishing company. Continue sending us your photos at solardaybreak at gmail.com.